All right, everybody. Now for the overview by Elpay Flake on the 1994 side-scrolling action video game released by Capcom for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and not Genesis, like I said earlier in the uh, videos. It's a video game based on the X-Men comic book franchise, which is kind of based on the uh, cartoon, the animated series, which was around the 1990s, I think. 1992? I don't know. Not really sure about that. Um, the gameplay, this is pretty much the overview. The gameplay is practically a uh, side scroller beat em up. That's not, there's other risk to it, but since Capcom development, there's a little bit more to it than the uh, average beat em up. Capcom is known for uh, combining movement, uh, movement combos, uh, as in uh, down, forward, punch, or up, up left right punch similar to Mortal Kombat and other fighting games gives in, giving this game a little twist for each X-Men although most combos consist of forward forward punch down forward punch down punch forward down forward punch and aerial attacks as by holding down and the punch button right well not the punch button rather the attack button it's still genuinely a 2d action platformer beat em up now this game was rated uh, from kids to adult by the ESRB and, and although it is aimed towards uh, children, don't be straight off that it, it is also a great X-Men game. If you're into X-Men, you know, the comic book by Marvel Comics, this is actually a good game for you to start off your children or new X-Men, younger audience to X-Men towards too. With great music, great visuals, and responsive controls, this is actually a great game to introduce anyone to the 2D action platform beat-em-ups. From a rating of 1 to 10, this game difficulty is about a 5. Although it can get hard at some times, it's mostly a trial and error game. With five playable characters, each unique as the other, the X-Men will be fighting Acolytes, Apocalypse, The Brood, The Brood Queen, Exodus, the Genosian Magistrates, Juggernaut, Magneto, Omega Red, The Sentinels, Tusk, and its Tuskette, and his Tuskettes. I highly recommend this game to beginners to the 2D action platform beat-em-ups, and anyone else wants to be introduced to the X-Men feel. I do not find anything too wrong with this game other than it being a little bit too short, but back in its, for back in its day, 1994, it's not that bad. And as I said earlier, if you're being introduced to this game, this game will keep you company for a few weeks. That is why I'm rating this game a 7 out of 10. This is Opaque Flake, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, or leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.